All right. Maybe if I actually like micromanage his ass and pull him out from that AE thing he does. Because I think the only thing that's really damaging is that AE ability he does that puts the thing on the ground, maybe. Get your ant. Ah, fucking lag. Jesus Christ. I saw it. Told him to go passive. He kind of stops and is like, okay, well... Oh, look, I found a penny on the ground. It's like, no, I, I would actually prefer if you just came over here. Yeah, it's pointless. The lag, I mean, he's just so lagged that it's... By the time you tell him to do it, He's already taken the damn damage. Yeah, my force is already gone. Yeah, you really need some kind of quick force regen ability. <laughs> no, you, you can attack now. Holy shit, that is so slow. I'm going to hold my finger over the button and see how long it takes him to move. <laughs> the only reason that worked that time was because I did it before he actually attacked. Or before he cast the spell. Yeah. Alright, let's try this again. Let's see if there's a way I can exploit him. Because at this point, I don't really care if I exploit this guy. Because he's seriously, seriously annoying. Sweet, I warped back into the room. It's even a pull. the hell? Did he move it? Whoa! He's casting it all over the damn place now. Hey, thanks. Stop running into the thing, that would be helpful. Huh. Abuse those pillars.
running low on force again. I'm trying to game, keep doing him, getting him to do the same thing. I think I got him in a loop. Nope. So glad I put that ability that I want to use way on the other side. Yeah, if you guys are saying anything in chat, like, I can't read it. Like, I'm focusing completely on this. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Damn it. He actually got it off. So now he's gonna just chase me. Damn it, stop locking up. Because I don't want him to actually finish casting that, because if he does, that's when he starts actually chasing me and hitting me with a lightsaber, which is, damn it, it hurts. I need to keep breaking line of sight. That's what it is. I need to break line of sight when he does that. Damn it, stop. Jackass. When he does that thing on the ground, I need to break line of sight before it goes off. And then I could just do this forever. Theoretically. Or not. Longest fight ever. Oh, what the? That was weird. Pretty sure that's not how that was intended to go. <laughs> yeah, no, that was no problem whatsoever. It was the easiest fight ever. Hey, upgraded helmet though. Looks totally different too. And by totally different, I mean it looks exactly the same. Whew, well, that was, uh, <laughs> took forever. Oh, uh, whoops, I guess I should go, uh, <laughs> res my duder who sacrificed his life twice. Yeah, yeah, that fight was meant for four people. Nerf casters. I need to make that its own separate <laughs> video on the LP so people can just skip 
skip over it or skip to the end if they want. Because uh, I don't imagine that. Okay, let's clear this whole instance. No, I'm kidding. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, I mean the the basically the the main reason I was able to beat him was because I found that little that little ability that if you interrupt him from his AE that you could then um that he could just that he would just keep trying it over and over again. That's that's basically what screwed him is that he would just keep trying the AE over and over and over and over again if you kept interrupting his line of sight. And yeah, I should have med packs on my bar. I totally should. I'm really bad about not doing it. That's one of those things that I know better. I absolutely know better. But I never do it. And I don't really have a good excuse as to why I don't. Yeah, that's when I actually do the right thing. Not the movie, but I actually just do the right thing. Yeah, I usually will have a bar to the right or to the left that I'll have that kind of thing for. Either buffs, well, buffs and or, you know, uh, pots or in this case, med packs, yeah, things like that. I haven't really bothered uh, in this beta. I think I did on my Jedi Knight. Not in range. What? Have a safe and pleasant stay. Have a safe and pleasant stay. Hmm, weird. I think the one of the big things that I want is a scaling. I really want scaling on the UI. Like I'd like to have these bars. I want these bars smaller and I want the the raid bars bigger because for me they're harder the hit point bars at least when I'm healing I want them bigger if I'm on the DPS I couldn't care less but if I'm on if I'm healing I want them to be bigger so that's it's easier for me to see them yeah moving them now see you're asking too much now now you're just going crazy able to move your bars my god man might as well ask for the moon. Mission drop box. Yeah, that kind of that kind of thing, doing the instance thing, is pretty fun uh, to do just as a change once in a while. And that's one reason I like having a class like this, because again, there's no way I could have done that with like a sniper or Jedi Knight or anything else. Or anything that wasn't a healer, I don't think. Because you can't kite him, because he keeps... Well, I take that back. You probably could kite him doing the pillar trick um, with, with the AE, but... I can't find a better place for the chat, to be honest. I find it annoying because I keep clicking on it when I keep going to click on somebody else. But yeah, I'm not crazy about it being up top either. I don't hate it, but I don't like it either. Yeah, my sniper, you can forget it. I mean, sniper... Sniper's fun. I tell you what, sniper and gunslinger, that is definitely an acquired taste. Uh, do it, you, the fact that you have to be behind um, cover all the time, and I know you get your own portable cover... But that's definitely something that is going to... A lot of people are just not going to be able to tolerate. 
I thought it was okay, but sometimes it does get old. I love their little roll. <laughs> the little roll they do when they roll behind cover. That's pretty funny. But yeah, that, I think that's going to be the mechanic that drives a lot of people away from Sniper and Gunslinger. I think somebody made a really good comparison is that you're basically a turret. I think that's a pretty good pretty good comparison because your best abilities are only usable or uh, well a lot of your good abilities I guess I should say are only usable while you're behind cover. Alright. Now we want to do Ancient Secrets last, because that's the class quest. So go up, or left, and up and left. Hey, how about we turn Sprint on? Wouldn't that be awesome? That would not have helped, by the way, in case you're wondering in the fight to you, you YouTubers. Uh, you cannot sprint in combat. As soon as you enter combat, you automatically stop sprinting. So. Uh, somebody asks, are you telespect? You mean on my sniper? I don't know. He was wiped in beta, so I don't remember. Wiped like three or four phases ago, so I don't remember. Oh, this caster. No, this this is seer spec. I'm healing. This character is healing spec. Because I wanted to try healing. Because that's what my sorcerer is going to be, is healing spec. Lieutenant, give me Republic High Command. Captain, I want six squads prepped for a high-speed shovel assault. Somebody get these blasted gawkers out of my way. I believe I have something you need, General. Terrific. Drop it off on your way out the door. Wait, wait, delay that. Well, I'll be hung with the Chancellor's shorts. You've got the astrogation computer from the Jedi Temple ruins. I was mobilizing half the Republic Army to go after it. You honored my squad by getting that device here, and made me as happy as a bantha on the beach. Do you have any idea what that device is? What it can do? Sort of. It's an astrogation computer. That's the understatement of the decade. The computer contains secret hyperspace routes the Jedi shared with the Republic military decades ago. The Empire gets their hands on those hyperspace routes. They could ambush every ship in our fleet. The Empire is not destined to win this war. I let you trust in destiny, Jedi. Personally, I prefer power armor and a good auto cannon. Your efforts kept the Republic safe from the Empire. For that, you deserve more than a clap on the shoulder. I haven't got a medal, so I guess credits will have to do. I can't make you rich, but I can do something. Keep your reward. I did this for the Republic. Then let the Republic do something for you in return. Go on, take the credits. I insist. I'll take that astrogation computer and lock it up tight. You went above and beyond for us. I salute you. For those about the rock. Ooh. Upgrade. Noble Jedi Scholar Lightsaber. That's me. What color is it? Green. I can change the crystal. Color crystal. Isn't there a quest I never finished? Oh. Uh, social points. I never did that. Mm. Probably could go 
do that at some point. Oh, f uh, face merchants. Drop that. Oh, whoops. Nope. All right, let's turn in this dead kid's journal. Star Snow? Your son's journal, Senator. There were Imperials in the temple, and your mercs were overwhelmed. Imperials? In the Jedi Temple? No wonder the mercenaries never returned. The Empire couldn't be after family heirlooms. I must inform the Senate of this. Thank you, Master Jedi. It must have been difficult to enter those ruins, but you've eased a father's pain. Uh, commendation, sure. All right. Express elevator. Oh, uh, there goes your kneecaps. I used to be a Jedi. Then I jumped off the top of the Senate Tower. Yeah, green's a good color. I'm still, I still like the cliche red. Not gonna lie. All right, let's see what happens with this. Oh, you're here! Quickly, we're barely detecting a pulse on you on. There was any time to test what you learned in the temple? It's now. So wait, why is this killing her? I thought it just made her switch to the dark side. That doesn't make a heck of a lot of sense. The Master's taught me well. Yuan's life is in your hands now. making you a Jedi. What happened? I feel so much better. But why do you look so weak? What did you do? You were raving during your illness. Any detail Whoa. could help us. 120? I remember clearly is your ceremony on Typhon. Oh, my student, I am sorry I wasn't a better master. What matters is that whoever was hurting you can't do so any longer. I could feel someone else in my mind, polluting my thoughts, twisting them. You won't be fully cured until he is defeated. I really wish I could give you more details, but my memory of that time is hazy at best. Pardon me. The Council wishes to speak with you when you're ready. I will speak with them immediately. Thank you again for helping you on. And teaching me a few things as well. I'll be all right for now. Go to the council. We can speak later. Uh, yeah, she's giving me that come hither look. That uh, teacher gone bad, yeah. All right, let's get out of here.
So am I supposed to go back to... Oh, I guess the council's here. I thought I was going to have to go back to Tython. Well, the color of the crystal doesn't matter. You can have any stats on any color crystal. Oh, I th oh, you mean just that crystal specifically is better. Yeah, you're probably right. Um, let's see. Do -do -do. Which one? Uh, do -do -do. Uh, let's see what the council wants. We sense a dark force, darker than we've ever seen before. So terrible it could destroy the universe. We've gathered a collection of Padawans to investigate and destroy it. We already had a trip planned to the Alps. We've been pushing off this ski trip forever and we really didn't want to put it off again. You guys should totally be fine. You're here. Thank you for contacting us so quickly. We're sorry to have to pull you away from you on. We wouldn't have called you here if it wasn't urgent. First, tell us what you've learned about Ewan's illness. It's a plague created by a Sith named Tarek Morridge. Here's what we know. Fade to black. Interesting. And worrying. We've started to receive disturbing communications from other masters. We fear Ewan's illness is not an isolated case. The illness was created by Tarek Morridge, but a different Sith is using it now. I don't know his name, but I fought his apprentice in the temple. Yes. It's imperative that we find this Sith before the illness spreads further. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have no leads. We can only hope that tracking down and shielding the victims will help lead us to this Sith. You need me to find these masters and cure them. A small number of victims suggest that this Sith needs some sort of contact with his victims to control them. I hesitate to ask any more sacrifice of you. You've already done so much. But with the terminal in the temple destroyed, you are the only one capable of shielding the afflicted masters and stopping this Sith, whoever yeah, he is. Good thing you don't have, you know, engineers or computer people to, you know, fix the terminal or anything like that. I will do whatever I can. You'll need to be able to move freely around the galaxy. To that end, we've prepared a ship for you in the spaceport. Thank you, masters. I will use it well. You have more than earned it. The missing masters were last heard from on Terrace and Nar Shada. Find them, and break the Plague Master's hold on them. Say your goodbyes to Yuan, but time is of the essence. Good luck. I'm the Plague Master! <laughs> Owned. Alright, no. I'm leaving. Alright, we got our ship. And about ready to leave. Head to the next planet.